Hello friends, welcome to Syndrome Academy. So today we are going to learn how to find the value of this determinant in a very easy and efficient way. So as you can see, there is a determinant on your screen whose value is already known to us, minus 32. Uh, right here in this video, I am going to tell you a very easy way to evaluate this. So first, uh, let's take the element of this particular determinant, like this. Uh, and let's copy these first two elements, first two rows elements, down after the last row. So let's say we copy this and replace these elements after the last row. Okay? Now, just take the elements which fall on this particular line and write the product down here. So let's say these are three elements. The product here is 4 into minus 1 into 7 which is minus 28. Similarly take these three elements which lie on this line and write it down here over here. Now as we know that one of the elements is 0 here so this answer will be 0. Okay. Again take the elements which fall on these this line and write the product right over here. So you can see uh, it becomes minus 6. Okay. Now sum these three values which comes out to be minus of 34. Now repeat a similar process on the elements lying on this line. So we take these three elements. Okay. The value here would be 0 because the first element itself was 0. So this is 0. Then again take the values which lie on this line and multiply it so this will be around 40 and finally the last line which is this line uh, this value will be around 40 minus 42 so when you add them you get minus of 2 now let's say this value is p and let's say this value is n so the value of the determinant of A will be nothing but P minus N, which is nothing but minus 34 minus of minus 2, which is minus 32. So hence, this method is much faster than the normal method we use. Thank you so much for watching.